All right. So let's just start together. Feel the earth through the soles of our feet. Nice tension, chin up our spine. Head in. Elongated and mokso. Mokso yine. Great. Good. All right. Well, we continue on with our tanyo practice. I'm going to do tanyo part two is warm ups in a minute. So treat it as warm ups. So just take it slow and easy. Um, Rob will do tanyo part one. And when I get to tanyo part three today, we're going to add flower walking. So um, that's our plan to add for that. Okay. So let's first just start with very gentle wakame, moving side to side, getting our body stirring for those of us who are just up and moving in the morning. If you've already been up doing your plumbing and your household chores, congratulations. <laughs> and forward and back. All right, and raise your arms up halfway. And again, moving more into Taiki Mai, dancing with the stars, with the universe. Let yourself moving forward and back. Ish, me, sun, she. Go and stand your arms up further, more of a funnel. Anish, me, sun, she, who, ruh, sish, ach, ku, chu. Let your arms drift down a little bit and let your hips and body go side to side. Ish, me, sun, she. Go and extend up a bit more, and now again to the sides. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, aj, ku, chu. And again, let your arms just drift down a bit and spiraling side back to front gently. Don't push past any place that doesn't feel right. Ish, me. Sun, she, go. And now let your arms and hands cross in front, um, alternating as if you're cutting across each knee, sun. And let your arms continue to be moving up in the same cutting figure eight position. Each knee, sun, she, go. A little bit more of a spiral each. Knee, so a big figure eight in the sky. Sun, she, go, rook, sish, hatch, ku, chu. And one more stretch up. And with the weight, let your arms drop down in front. Ish, and circling knee. Sun, she, go. Look, sish, hatch, ku, ju. Good. And if you need to hold on to something, go ahead. Otherwise, on one foot, raising up the other knee and circling the ankle and using the wrist. Sish, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hatch, other way. Ish, knee, sun, she, Go, rook, sish, touch, up and down, ish, me, sun, she, go, invert and either, ish, me, sun, she, go. And then switching to the other leg, and I'm going to continue to face forward, so circling, ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, ku, chu, other way, ish, me, Sun, she, go, rook, sish, touch, up and down, ish, me, sun, she, go, invert and evert, ish, me, sun, she, go, good. And coming back again, standing over both feet in the ground earth and let yourself turn to the middle, ish, me, sun, she, go, your arms follow your koshi, your center turning. Ish, me, sun, she, go, let yourself get a little massage as you do this. Ish, 
Me, Fred, she, Hell, Rook, Sish, Hutch, Who, Jew. Good. And let your weight just shift over your left side a bit so that your right elbow comes up and your hand follows an opening to the back. Ish. Oh, me. Sun. Jew. Go. And right arm up to left shoulder and shaking down. Each. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Hutch. Ku. Jew. And out to the side. Same relaxed feeling. Each. Me, sun, she, go, u, sish, hatch, hu, ju, and now to the front. Ish, me, sun, she, go, u, sish, hatch, hu, ju, and now raising and palms facing back and dropping. Ish, me. Sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, u, shu. Good. Hand shaking out the legs. Soft kicking forward. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, u, shu to the side. Ish, me. Sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, ju, and stepping back. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, hutch, ku, ju, and a few more to the front and just vary the height. Ish, me, sun, she, go, rook, sish, Hutch, Q, J. Good. Coming back to center, feeling your weight now evenly over both feet, both legs, and opening to ah with the palms open up to the heavens, raising up overhead, letting your palms fill, and then palms down over the chakra, top of the head, palm over palm, chakra over chakra and just let yourself stand under the shower. Nice energy. And bring that energy on down around. So bring it by the sides of your eyes, face, neck, under the arm, and down. Back to standing neutrally again. Let your eyes release and close a moment. Mokso. And Mokso, you may. Thank you. All right, Rob, off to you. And good morning. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera. Uh, let's start with our feet again. Uh, just to remember, so we're going to be doing the uh, Hangetsu step, that means half moon, uh, but it isn't a deep moon, it's just a, I'm gonna see if I can do it sideways here. So as we step, we only wanna have a very shallow step forward as we go forward. Bend your knees, let your hips sink in as far as comfortable. Uh, and stepping back a few times. And just make sure we have a feeling for our step. Take your time. And forward again. Right foot. Eesh. Knee. Um, 
and back, and each. Knee, remember the front of your toe should be about the instep of your foot. Don. She. Okay, readjusting the camera so you can see my upper body a little better. All right. All right, stay. Nice, firm stance. Imagine you're, so have your feet just shoulder width apart. Imagine yourself out on the headlands, looking out into the ocean to, to a world of bright, shining energy. And imagine you could, for a moment, you can lean into that and begin to take off and fly. Just dive out into that energy and let it come in and absorb your whole body into it. And grab that energy, pull it even deeper into your core, bring your feet together. Breathe in with it, and then slowly step out. Right foot and spread the energy, your community. Grab the energy, pull it in. Let it rise up through your chakras, up through your head, into the universe, and opening, stepping, let it go into a deeper level of the energy. Chi. Pull that in, breathe in. Feet come together and out and spread. Lean in. Let it rise one more time. Next level, deeper opening. Stepping back, pull that energy in one more time. Now that we're deep in our, our world of energy, we're gonna do some work pushing it out. Let's see. Step back, pull more energy in, cover it in. And step back and do a little more work, a little further, a little higher. And finally, step back, bring the energy to your heart, knuckles facing each other, like there's sparks going between them, stepping just naturally, reach out with your heart, with your energy, you reach your maximum, push it out just a little more and open your hands. And then gently let your hands open upward. Eyes drift up. And reaching up. And pulling it down under the shower. Let your head and eyes face forward directly under the shower. Breathe in and breathe out. Let it sink and come down your body.
One more time, let's do standing and starting again on the cliff edge, going out into the ocean of key. And pull back, lift feet together, and stepping and spreading. Step sink a little lower, bend your knees just a bit more. Pulling back together, let your energy rise through your body as your feet are together. Keep your hips low and stepping and opening. And pulling your feet together, pull the energy into your body and out. And feet together, rise through your body, through your head, out into the sky, and cutting open. And stepping back. And piercing out, pushing as far your energy beyond your fists. And from beyond, pull it into yourself, pull it into your hara. Last time. Your heart and step naturally out to the side and reach out and beyond and open. And lift it up, gather, chi, and let it shower down upon you. And crown chopper directly under. Pull up a little bit and then press down as you breathe out. and your hands together in any position. Energy coming inward, Tenchigoso. Release and then breathe in. Let the energy come into you. Do ah. Gently and release. The energy come in as you weigh. And release. And pull in the energy as you do. E. And release. And add O. Yeah. 
Did you say you passed it off? Okay. Uh, Tommy, yes. Hi. Hi. Trying to readjust so I can have my feet seen. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to add flower walking um, when we get to Congo Yi pose. So I'm just showing my feet so that we can practice the stepping first. So keeping that nice, soft feeling that Rob was evoking for our body. So there's nothing tense, there's nothing difficult about it. We're just gonna practice. And you can walk in a straight line, you can walk in a circle, you can walk in diagonals, there's no directional set. So shift the weight again over to your left foot and let your right foot kick back so that the, the toe of the right foot is giving you a little bit of a tripod support. And then let the leg swing through. The right heel now is down. And then I shift my weight forward onto the weight of my right foot with my left toe now. I'm gonna keep changing for you. So my left toe now is giving me a little bit of support. Kick through, heel, and onto the ball of the foot. I'm supporting with the other toe. Kick through, heel. And you'll notice that I'm coming off in a slight diagonal when I step down onto my foot. Toe supporting, kick through, heel, onto the foot. Let me back up a bit and go the other direction. Let's do a few more walking forward. We're gonna go backwards in a minute. So I'm on, weight is on my left, toe, right toe supporting, kick through, Onto the right heel, shift the weight forward. Kick through with the left leg, heel now, left heel, shift the weight onto my left foot. Through my right foot, heel, and shift my weight. All right, now let's try going back. So you see my right foot, my left foot is back. I just slide back a little bit, left my go down on the ball of my foot to my heel, and now my right foot is up. Through, oopsie. And you will wobble at times over beside you. It's okay. Onto the toe and back down. Kick back, toe, ball, foot, other foot comes up. Kick back, toe, ball, down, while the foot comes up. Let's keep walking if you have to change directions a bit, but let's do a few more backwards. So you'll notice my foot is already back. I shift the weight through my toe, my ball, my foot to my heel, and my other foot comes up. Now the other foot swings back, toe, ball, heel, down. Other foot is up. One last time back and down. So then let's try four steps forward and four back. There's no right number, I'm just picking that number. And so kick back, have the right foot back, the toe supporting, kick through, heel, and shift your weight. Kick through my left, heel, shift my weight. Heel, shift my weight. Through, heel, shift my weight. So a few back now. I've already got one leg back, so back through that toe ball down to the heel, other toe comes up. Kick back, shift my weight back through that foot, the other toe comes up. Two more, stepping back, shift your weight. Toe comes up, kick back, heel down, comes back. And then with the last step, you bring your right foot back in again, back to a neutral stance. If there's ever any doubt through any of the 
movements about which foot starts first or which foot moves out, it's always the right foot. So the right foot is gonna start with the hangetsu stepping first, or the same with the flower walking, we're gonna kick the right foot back. Or if we open in an attention go so, it's always the right leg if there's ever a question um, about which leg it's supposed to be. Okay, so just I'm gonna attempt to move a bit, have a bit more whole body look here. All right. Keep where you are, breathe, enjoy outdoors, enjoy the sea image. Okay. Bend for where you are, keeping it soft again, a little walk and adjust to check our body again. See if we're softer, more relaxed from where we started, our shoulders down a little bit more. Center feels better, knees feel better, ankles, toes. Just take a little inventory. Good, all right. And coming back to neutral stance, weight nicely over both soles of the feet, coming up Tenji Jin, nice elongation into the heavens. Eyes can start gazing slightly down. And as we move through the 10 positions, your eyes can rise up. Um, and then by Congo E, they're straight forward and then they begin to slightly close again. So opening slightly, palms opening forward. Think of a beacon of light coming out the palms of your hands, the chakras there, you're sending out light. And as you breathe in and your eyes move up slightly, your arms move supported by space, coming up, palms up to the heavens. And you pull this light up with you. So now it's a beacon of light, not just from the palms of your hands, but your whole body is beginning to share the light with the world. Continue the float of your arms upward. Let your head drop back a little bit. And let your palms come together softly, pointing heavenward, heavenward. And your arms, your hands are over your, your heart. Extend upward. And now uh, raising your head so that your head chakra is directly underneath the palms of your hands that are still overhead.
and one more extension up toward the universe and let them float down first over the heart, head chakra, and then down from the face into congo diamond position. Fingertips slightly pointing away, nice open feeling under the arms so that the air, the chi, the lymph, the blood all flows open. Your gaze is the most active here, looking far toward the horizon. Let your elbows drift down with gravity as your palms open, arriving about level with your shoulders. We'll stand for a few moments and then we'll do some flower walking. So now we're in the flower offering pose. Shifting the weight over onto your left foot so that your right foot can kick back slightly using the right great toe as a balancing point. And ish, knee. Ish, knee. Ish, knee. Each knee. Either continue in a circle or if you wish, go back. I'm going to step back. Each knee. Each knee. Each knee. Each knee. Kicking the right foot back again. Let's just do another series. Just check yourself as you do this in terms of balance, breathing, relaxation. You can imagine holding a very small bowl of water and see if you can keep the water from sloshing. Nice, smooth, like we're really gliding. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. I'm going to go backwards. You can continue whatever direction is right for you. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. Ish. Knee. Good. And from where you are, bringing the right foot to join the left and then opening into neutral stance. Keep the flower offering pose. And with the next breath, let your arms float through space, outward offering. Further devotion offerings to the universe.
bringing your right hand over your left index finger and palm, navigating homeward. And now let your breath come in. Let your arms and hands come back. Right hand gently over left, not quite touching elbows still, forming a nice triangle and nourish your heart. Eyes can be more relaxed here. Letting your hands come down, softly holding your left thumb with your right hand. And you may release and let your eyes fully close if you wish. Letting your eyes softly open and your hands drop to your sides. We're gonna to bow to the heavens and give gratitude that our body is able to do this and let it release any other tension that it might've acquired. So slow bow forward and let your body just stretch in a different way. Perhaps the life gate and the back of your koshi there is opening during this movement. <sighs> Don't rush it. Don't strain. Small circle and come up one side of the body on a diagonal, palms opening up to the heavens. Palms coming up overhead, palms coming palm to palm, piercing through. Facing forward, palms open to the front, deep bow. Slow, feel yourself move through space, perhaps even through water. Small half circle, come up the other diagonal, palms open. Palms meeting overhead, piercing upward. Face forward, palms open, one more cycle round. Big bow, compress. Feel the air compress, the water perhaps compress.
small circle with your fingers opening and coming up on one side. Palms coming together overhead, spearing upward, pivot forward, palms open to the front, big bow with gratitude, with appreciation. Small circle, come up the other side of the diagonal, palms opening to the heavens. Palms coming up overhead, spearing, pivot forward, palms open. Last bow, bowing. Circle some special treasure you might have found below. Cup it in your hands, let your knees release. Let your coach you release, coming upward, head and neck coming up last with a gaze forward. And open just a little bit more with your stance with your right foot and let your arms release to the side. Next is the Big Dipper, stretching between heaven and earth. So as I hug that big tree, I hug the universe, I hug each one of us who's here today and hug all of those who we are thinking about at this moment. Let's hug for Nicole, let's hug for Susan. Let your left arm drop down, your right arm up. So you elongate to, to heaven and earth, look over your left shoulder, just as far as you can, no strain, never strain. And inhaling and exhaling as you come to the front. I spiral and rotate to my right, left arm going up, right arm down behind me, looking over my right shoulder. And exhaling to the front. One more cycle. Elongate up, right arm up, left down, looking back, over. Feel the elongation. And exhale. And inhale to the other side. And exhale. Continuing to hold everyone in this circle of love. Let your arms drop to the side. Slightly move your right foot in just a smidge. And let your palms open again as in oh, ah. Uh, up to the heavens, they fill with the energy that we've been sharing today. Grab what you need. Release a little that might not be needed and bring this all down to the community across our face, across our chin, neck, chest, underarms. Continuing to keep a soft fist, eyes forward. Let your hands release and bring your feet, right foot back in. And we're gonna do Mok So. Mok So Yeme. Right. Thank you, everyone. All right.